Hi and welcome to another Figma tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a pop-up image gallery using Figma. As you can see, I have an image gallery right here. This is a set of cars, different images. When I actually hover over the different images, you can actually see what pops up. You can actually see that um, that blue box that pops up. And then I can even go further when I actually click on an image. When I click on view image, you can actually see the the image actually pops up. So that can actually happen for any depending on the one you click on i can actually click on this and uh just like that i'll be showing you how to create this pop-up image menu gallery using figma all right without wasting time let's get into today's video All right, this is going to be a long one, but uh, you just bear with me. I just want you to understand we're going to take components to another level. We're going to make them advanced. So I just call it pop up image gallery. All right, so first thing first, you want to insert a frame. I'll insert the MacBook 1280. All right, that will actually do for us. All right, there we go. So next, I'm going to draw. A rectangle okay there we go now but there's something i'm gonna do i'm gonna do some mathematics so in this uh in this uh in this frame here i actually want to fit eight different rectangles right here right here right here and then at the bottom so what happens is i want to do some math so what i'm gonna do first is so since the width here is uh 1280 i'm gonna reduce this width so i'm just gonna type in here i'll just say 1280 then I'll say divide by divide by four. All right. Then that gives me 320. That's going to be the approximate size. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the width, the height. The height is 720. Then I'll divide that by two. Right. That's perfect. And that gives us the right, um, the right size. Okay. So I'm going to give this, uh, sorry, I'm going to give this some stroke. I want the stroke weight to be four. All right, there we go. Then I'll give it a white color. Okay. Okay, there we go. We have our image right there. And uh, that's going to be it uh, basically. All right, so uh, next, I'm going to create a component out of this image. So we're going to right click on it and then just click create component. Okay, so our, our image is actually a component. So I'm gonna call this. Uh, I'm gonna call this. Actually, no, this is gonna be general. So it's just gonna be called component. Okay, so we're gonna create. Uh, actually, let's first go into our component. Then we're gonna insert an image into that rectangle. Okay, so just go to Unsplash. Uh, a plugin I've already installed. Just make sure to install it also. It's gonna allow us access copyright free images. Right, so I'm gonna search for cars. Click cars, then you can actually search. Right, so there is a variety. Let's choose that. Okay. Yeah, that will do. Right, let's go with this image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to crop the image a little bit. Okay, but Okay, let's let's leave it that way because cropping it will actually affect a lot of things. All right, so we have our component here. Then we're gonna create a variant for our. But before we do that, let's first make use of this rectangle shape. All right, so we're gonna draw a rectangle that has the same width as that. So we're gonna give it a width of three twenty. Okay. Right, just make sure to drag it within but before you do that just place it right here then actually it's right there within all right so zoom in so place it right at the bottom then we're gonna um just reposition it I'm gonna give it a light blue color okay so let's give it this blue and we're gonna reduce the opacity of that. Right, that opacity seems fine. 
then we're just gonna make sure that the height is set to one okay all right so that's looking okay so in our component we're going to create a variant so click on the plus icon all right so there we go we have a variant so inside our variant we're gonna increase the size of this rectangle so just increase the height to um, what's the height of the rectangle of the entire shape to 360 okay so we're gonna increase that height to 360 so just type in 360 all right and then that will actually so let's, let's just drag our component to the side all right so this is gonna fill that up Right, so next we're gonna make use of this rectangle tool again okay so this is gonna be like um, the title of the image all right we're gonna give it a stroke let's give it a stroke weight of four all right we're gonna remove the fill we're gonna give that stroke weight a color of white all right then we're gonna just type in some text view image and I increase that image uh, text size to 20 20 is still too small let's try 25 okay 25 is perfect oh my favorite points font is poppins let's just give it a bold feel okay that's looking better that's looking better all right so uh, we're gonna do some prototyping let's just go to your prototype mode then we're just gonna drag this right there so I want to make sure that on hover so while hovering change to variant 2 I want to make sure it happens as a smart animation right okay so there we go that's it so we're gonna duplicate this all right so we're gonna make a copy of that all right so we're gonna call this uh, component we're gonna call it image one all right so we're gonna duplicate this several times let's just duplicate that place it on the right let's just wanna duplicate it eight times so select all then duplicate by holding alt on your keyboard all right and there we go there we go we've successfully duplicated the image all right so the the image is listed image one image two up to image eight all right so we're gonna go into the all right let's just make sure so just gonna go into image so this is our image too so just make sure you have open your plugin and splash we're gonna add more cars all right so um image two selected we're gonna insert another car all right so I close that so inside image three, I'm gonna insert another different car. So the variety to select from you can select that. Oh sorry. Just make sure to open that. Then just make sure to select this, select the image itself. Alright, that's actually what we wanna change. Alright, so uh next to image four. Select the image. It's the variety of cars. Let's select this Bugatti Veyron. Okay, that's looking okay. So image five. We want to select a different car. Okay, let's select this green car. Okay, that's looking okay. Image six. Wanna try different one. Um, variety of good cars to choose from. It really doesn't matter. Let's go with this one. All right, image seven. Let's go with that. 
so it really doesn't matter you can actually choose any car um they're they're all looking cool it's just looking for something unique really let's uh let's go with this that red car all right so all, all my cars have actually loaded right so we're gonna test this image gallery so let's test it for now let's click on the play and just give it a second to load right so it is actually loaded as you can see when a user hovers over any car you can actually see that uh design popping up all right so that's the first step so let's go to the next level all right so we're gonna take the prototype into the next level all right so what we want to do is for the next stage we're gonna select all the components inside then actually we're gonna select all the elements then we're gonna create a general component gonna call it cars gallery okay we're gonna first drag this component down all right so this is the one we're gonna work with all right so there is a lot we're gonna do but just follow up all right so we're gonna add variants so we're gonna add the very first variant so there we go so in our very first variant we want to um when we actually want to create some form of design right so we're gonna go into variant two we're gonna begin with the uh, image one okay so just make sure to select the real image itself okay so we're gonna duplicate this let's just hold alt right so we duplicate the image okay so it's gonna be our very first one so i've actually duplicated the image itself then i'm gonna increase its size just want to make sure it's actually bigger actually be bigger all right so i'm gonna give it a stroke of five all right then something i want to do so i want to make sure that when actually when an image pops up want to make sure that the rest of the image is actually blurry or they are covered so i'll just design another rectangle i'll give this a white color okay let's just make sure it's actually pure white okay let's just make sure the height is 720 just like the general height so i'm gonna call it white okay and just make sure it covers everything but just make sure it's actually just below the main image then we're gonna reduce the opacity of white give it an opacity of something like 10 okay that's too little let's change that to 25 okay it's starting to look better okay 35 let's yeah okay let's end with 35 35 is is okay so i think that that actually stands out that will actually stand out okay Right, so next we're gonna draw a box right here actually before we do that let's make sure we have a copy of white in the in the default okay just make sure we have a copy of white in the default mode that's gonna be important and just make sure it actually just it's actually right on the side 
right so we have a copy of white just make sure that that is in the let's insert it in the default right so it's going to be among the default okay so that it actually simply animates and just covers everything all right so um back to variant two okay i wanna insert a stroke i'm just gonna give this a stroke weight of four then uh, i'll remove the fill i'll give this white I'll type in some text, zoom in, go back. Just want to make sure we have that option to actually go back. So when user clicks on that, it should actually direct them back, okay? All right, so that's uh, that's the very first one. So I'm going to duplicate this uh, so seven more times for the other seven images. So just click Ctrl D. Okay, right, there we go. Right, so this is our first one. Then uh, off to variant three. So this is gonna be replacing image two. But before we do that, so uh, in our second variant, if you look through, you realize the dimensions of this, uh, this actual change. We have 438 by 493. We want to maintain that. 438, 493. Okay. So off to variant 3. I'm going to go and select image 2. Okay. Then I want it to replace this general image. So paste to replace. But as you can see, the dimensions actually change, and that's the thing we wanted to. Um, that's the thing we actually wanted to avoid. wanted wanted to maintain those dimensions, and uh, that's where they. That's where there's gonna be work. Okay. So remember, it's the sides: four hundred thirty-eight, four hundred ninety-three. Okay. So I wanna remember that. Okay, so the dimensions, 438, 493. Okay, then uh, remember the stroke was equal to 5. And just make sure it's actually centered. All right. Um, that wasn't hard. All right, so uh, off to the next one. This is actually a variant four. So I wanna select image three. Copy. And I'm gonna paste to replace. Change these dimensions to four thirty eight. Then four nine three. Okay, then we're just gonna center that. Just make sure everything is Right, so it's actually centered. Let's make sure of that. Right. All right, that's it. All right, sets it for variant three. So we're into variant four. And we want to make sure we select image four. Just copy that. It's so gonna replace it with the main image. Paste to replace. Four three eight. Four nine three. Okay. Then don't forget to change the stroke weight to five. All right. Then just make sure to fit it. All right. That's that. That was easy. Oh, I just forgot to increase this. Wait, it's actually okay now. Right, so to the next. Right, so we're now working with um, image five. So it's image five. 
it's here copy then we're gonna replace paste to replace so remember the dimensions 438 and 493 just position that well okay there we go stroke weight 5 all right off to the next one variant 7 actually working with image number 6 copy that image okay then paste to replace it with the main image gonna change the dimensions 438 493 okay it's looking okay that's looking good just make sure it's actually positioned well all right there we go stroke weight 5 right so next we're actually now working on image um image number seven right image number seven copy it then paste to replace with the main image the dimensions are 438 493 okay perfect right so the last image that's image number eight copy that then paste to replace with the main image and there we go change the dimensions 438 and um, 493 okay that's actually looking fine We just want to make sure we've actually changed the stroke size sorry stroke size to five yeah that's very important they should actually be in a form so i forgot to change that to five okay but i think i did that for uh, image number seven all right there we go all right so we've actually created uh, different uh, variants that we're going to work with All right, so next we want to do some prototyping. All right, so uh, off to variant two. So inside variant two, we want to go where we have the text go back, okay? So I want to make sure every time you use the clicks go back, they actually redirect it back to the main, to the main, to the default, okay? So just drag this back to the default. Uh, that's, that will actually happen on click. And then it will just smart animate and go back to the default. So we want to make sure that is uh, set for all of them so someone clicks on go back they're directed back to the default smart animate 300 milliseconds okay that's okay 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 so i want to do that for each one so drag this i think everything is everything is okay everything looks fine there and drag this back to the default Whenever a user clicks on go back. All right, back to the default. All right, then uh, number seven. Okay, back to the default. And lastly, oh, we actually didn't do it for number eight sorry about that did for seven okay then we need to do it for nine also nine which is actually image number eight okay that's actually redirects the user back to the default okay I think uh, I think that's okay. that's I think that's looking okay. Just wanna make sure. All right, so that's actually looking fine. So when the user clicks on go back, it will actually direct them back to the default. Okay. Um. All right. So next, we wanna create. A, we we wanna make sure that when the user actually clicks on each image, it will actually now direct them to one of these options. Okay. So we're gonna go back to our default uh, our default mode here. 
right so inside our default mode we're gonna go to image one okay so inside image one i just let's first view it in the variant two mode so actually um there is actually no sim actually you realize that if you, if you choose since there is actually already a hover option over this uh since this is already a component you actually can't uh, can't add another another interaction so what happens is we're going to create a new shape okay right on top of this so just so this is gonna be a new shape right on top of everything if you actually don't do this it actually will not work i've actually tested it but this is actually the best way to do it okay right so um we're gonna create copies of this so just create many copies of this let's just drag it and place it at the center so it's gonna appear where the text says view image okay it's actually gonna re replace it's just gonna appear right there okay just want to just make sure to center that make sure it's centered All right there we go All right there we go All right so next we're going to add inter so we're going to add interactions to that shape that exact shape so we're going to prototype so we're gonna add an interaction on click. We're gonna say change to. So it's gonna change to variant two. Okay, and that's the pattern we're gonna follow. So it actually changes to the next variant. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. So this takes you to variant to the seventh image, and this takes you to the last. Let's first make sure this is okay. That's looking okay. All right. I think everything is set. All right. So lastly, we want to make sure not we can't leave these visibly okay so these actually don't look good when they're visible so we're gonna uh we're gonna remove the f actually we're gonna re reduce the opacity to zero okay so these are not gonna be visible the whole time okay so just make sure to select all of them at once and you're gonna reduce the opacities to zero so actually don't want them to be visible right so i'm gonna all right so back into my default mode so i think you get the point so i'll just take this back to the default mode i think you now get the idea of what will happen so when i click on play this time actually before i do that before clicking play i actually have to drag a copy of this component back into the frame otherwise nothing will be visible so place that back in your frame all right then let's click play all right so this so our, our gallery has actually appeared so let's see what happens when i click on an image let's say i want to view this one you can actually see it actually comes out and the rest are actually in the background so you can actually not select any option you see you can't select any option without going back so that's the nice thing about this guy. You must click go back if you want to view the other images. So let's see. I can't select anything else before going back. All right, let's view this. All right, looking good. And that's how I'd create a pop-up image gallery using Figma. I know it's been a long video, but I just believe after this video, you must have mastered components and how to take it to the next level. I, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, just feel free to leave a like on the video. And then, uh, uh, if you just feel free to leave me a comment to just tell me what you felt about the video. And if you're new to this channel, I encourage you to subscribe and join on the community. 
and then make sure to uh, click on the notification bell so that you get updates every single time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.